Your mama asked for it. Your mama got it. I am back with another impromptu food review. All right, folks. So I wasn't even planning to do this one, but the stars aligned and we are here. So everyone, and I mean everyone, has been sending me pictures of the Baconator Pringles. And, but I have not come across them. I've looked, been stored a store, you know, actively looking for them. But God said, nope, not today, bitch. So I let it go. But today, while casually getting gas, I go into uh, my local 7-Eleven. And here we are. So I figured I got to bring you guys in. This isn't going to be a long one. I'm not going to draw this one out, but it's just a request that I've been getting. And I, I do this for you, the people. And I'm never going to let you guys down, I promise. I, pr I bet my tits. I, I, I swear my tits on it. And without further ado, let's just get stuck into this boy. Off rip, not exactly what I was expecting. I'm trying to get like a really balanced shot of it, but it's, it's a pale chip. You know, I uh, don't know if you could tell from the uh, container, but I expected a little color on this one. Let's see if there's any flavor text on here. You know what I mean? Like any type of descriptors on here. Enjoy our delicious chips sprinkled with Baconator dust or something like that. There's no flavor text on here. All right, so we're gonna get stuck into this one. Heavy smell of ketchup of all things. Which makes sense because the only two things that come on a Baconator, um, only two condiments are gonna be your ketchup and your mayo. So definitely get that um, ketchup feel. But let's see what we got here. You know, fuck, I dropped it. God, I hate my life. I'm gonna try this shit again, all right. So the cool thing about Pringles is you can match them to the shape of your tongue. So you get full tongue saturation with this shit. So let's see. Ah, uh, uh. try another. I see what they're doing here. You taste the bacon. You definitely taste like a hickory smoke, applewood smoke, some kind of bacon flavor on here. That definitely comes through. You taste the ketchup. I don't know if I taste like beef. You know what I mean? But this particularly, it's fine. You know what I mean? I don't have to taste the beef. You eat a Baconator pretty much for the bacon. And you get a definite bacon flavor with this. So I'm not mad that I don't taste beef. It's like a bacon and ketchup chip. I taste a bit of cheese too. I do taste some cheese. So it's like a bacon, cheese, and ketchup chip. It may not sound appealing if you're not a bacon or ketchup or cheese fan, but it's a good chip. It's a good chip. It does the job. You know, my tits approve. My titties approve. This would be great with um, like a artichoke dip or like some kind of like, I don't know, maybe like a sour cream based dip. You know, there's definitely room to build on this. You know what I mean? All right, like I said, this is gonna be a short one. I just wanted to get this out there for you, the people. More stuff is coming. I have like three or four reviews filmed. Just gotta edit them down. A lot more content's coming. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys sending me stuff. You guys send me ideas for food reviews constantly. And I appreciate that kind of support. So keep it coming. Anytime you see something new on the streets that I just need to try, snack wise, fast food wise, even health food wise, because I'm wanna I wanna start doing healthier stuff too. Like vegan stuff, low fat stuff, vegetarian stuff. I want to make sure I'm covering all the bases and make sure I'm keeping all of my fans happy. So thank you guys. Keep sending me ideas and I'll get to them eventually. Peace out.